Welcome to Complementary Physics for BSc Main Chemistry and Mathematics students. Complementary Physics, Semester 2, Unit 3 Thermodynamics. Paper is Thermal Physics. And today the topic is uh, Petrol Engine Theory. Petrol Engine Theory. Class number 22, Semester 2, Complementary Physics for BSc Main Chemistry and Mathematics. Mathematics, Paper, Thermal Physics. Chapter is thermodynamics. So in the previous class we have seen in the explanation in the working of petrol engine and today we see the theory of the petrol engine, the expression for the efficiency that we see today. Expression for efficiency. The efficiency of a petrol engine is given by the efficiency of petrol engine is given by eta is equal to 1 by uh, 1 minus 1 by rho raised to gamma minus 1. Eta is 1 minus 1 by rho raised to gamma minus 1. And uh, today we see the derivation of this expression. Here eta is the efficiency of petrol engine, rho is the adiabatic compression ratio, gamma is Cp by Cv, ratio specifics. The efficiency is written here. Eta is 1 minus 1 by rho raised to gamma minus 1. And we see the derivation of this equation. Gamma is 1.4. Uh, ratio, adiabatic uh, compression ratio, uh, rho is V1 by V2. And V1 and V2 are shown in the graph. Shown the two graphs, V1 and V2. Uh, shown the graph. The two volumes are shown in the graph. When we see the petrol cycle, there are two points. There are two points, E and uh, uh, e and C. Uh, volume into C we mark as V1 and volume into E we mark as V2. V1 by V2 that is the adiabatic uh, compression ratio. Uh, to understand V1 and V2 you see the graph from our previous class. You see the uh, petrol cycle, the graph. Derivation. By definition, the efficiency of any heat engine is given by eta is square minus square to by q1. Uh, the efficiency of any heat engine is eta is square minus square to by q1. That is eta is equal to divided by q1. 1 minus square to by q1. Equation number 1. And you know this equation is applicable for all engines. By definition, pragaram, eta is square minus square to by q1. Like eta is 1 minus q2 by q1. Uh, q1 is the original heat taken from source. Amount of heat taken from source. And q2 is the heat rejected to sink. We will learn this question. This question is not going to be able to do this. We will learn this relation eta is equal to t1 minus t2 by t1. But the petrol engine is a different equation. That is what we will learn. Suppose one mole of a gas. That is air. One mole of gas undergoes, undergoes cycle of operation. But one mole air cycle of operation with him During the process DA, during the process DA, DA graph no gram, DA, our heat is absorbed. And during the process BC, it is rejected. Heat and the process Heat transfer on the other chitradil, a graph field, previous class no gram, a graph field, number Q1 and Q2, mark is under. Ningle the note no gamma. Padata graph field at the mark is under. It is again a Q1 garden. Eat and do work. Courts in the old little and suppose you can do work. Carnum e auto cycle number and courts in the old cycle. Cots in the volume and heat transfer is the cots in the volume cycle. Now, if we have Q, that is the MCV DT, mass into specific heat into rise of temperature, and the cots in the volume heat is the M into CV DT, as CV will be the molar specific heat, molar heat is the number. M is the one molar item. And temperature difference, the first case is the temperature difference. Difference T3 minus T2R. Upon the number of Q1 is C1 into T3 minus T2. T3 minus T2 is the number. Otherwise, now the case is 
ആ ക്യൂ ടു ക്യൂ ടു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ സി വി ഗ്രാഫ് നോക്കണം സി വി ഇൻറ്റു ടി ഫോർ മൈനസ് ടി വൺ ബട്ട് എമ്പറിഞ്ഞ ഡിഫറൻസ് ഡി ടി ആയിട്ട് ആദ്യ കേസിൽ വരുന്നത് ടി ത്രീ മൈനസ് ആ ടി ടു ആണ് രണ്ടാമത്തെ കേസിൽ വരുന്നത് ടി ഫോർ മൈനസ് ടി വൺ ആണ് പിന്നെ ഒരു മോൾ ഗ്യാസ് ആണ് വിചാരിക്കുന്നത് therefore equation one becomes namaku ee q1 q2 value equation one athu kodukalam adhaayi eta ide definition athu kodukalam 1 minus q2 by q1 athu kodukumbol namaku kittum eta is equal 1 minus cv into t4 minus t1 by cv into t3 minus t2 uh, cv cancel cheyu cv ivide cancel cheyu ennattu namaku cv illatha equation eda that is eta is equal to 1 minus t4 minus t1 by t3 minus t2 equation number 2 idana modify cheyunnathu ee t4 minus t1 by t3 minus t2 modify cheyumbolana nammude required equation nammala starting il paranja equation kittunnathu adu engane kaanu ennu nokkuka we know the equation for the bathic is tv raised to gamma minus 1 is uh, tv raised to gamma minus 1 is k that is an equation for adiabatic and that we apply to find the uh the term in the bracket in the above equation you see the graph once again for adiabatic ab adiabatic ab is in the graph we can write t3 v2 raised to gamma minus 1 is t4 v1 raised to gamma minus 1 that is tv raised to gamma minus 1 is equation for uh, adiabatic uh for the adiabatic ab we take 2 points a and b and uh, write uh, this equation t3 v2 raised to gamma minus 1 is t4 v1 raised to gamma minus 1 equation number 3 for adiabatic cd t2 v3 uh, v2 raised to gamma minus 1 is equal to v1 v1 raised to gamma minus 1 that is equation number 4 divide dividing dividing we get dividing no it is not uh, uh, division subtracting we get subtracting not dividing subtracting we get uh, t3 minus t2 gone factor is taken v2 raised to gamma minus 1 is t4 minus t1 v1 raised to gamma minus 1 that is the form now we find uh, t4 minus uh, t1 by t3 minus uh, t2 divide the rhs by t3 minus t2 and it lets us by v1 raised to gamma minus 1 then we get t4 minus t1 by t3 minus t2 is equal to v2 raised to gamma minus 1 by v1 raised to gamma minus 1 that we again write this v2 raised to gamma minus 1 by v1 raised to gamma minus 1 we put in a bracket and write v2 by v1 raised to gamma minus 1 and we define a new term rho rho we define as v1 by v2 v1 by v2 not v2 by v1 v1 by v2 uh, that is equation number 5 rho is called adiabatic compression ratio rho is called adiabatic compression ratio ratio you uh, write there ratio r a t i u ratio so in in this equation uh, v2 by v1 raised to gamma minus 1 becomes 1 by rho raised to gamma minus 1 therefore t4 minus t1 by t3 minus t2 is equal to 1 by rho raised to gamma minus 1 1 by rho raised to gamma minus 1 t4 minus t1 by t3 minus t2 is equal to 1 by rho raised to gamma minus 1 and this equation we put in number 2 in the place of t4 minus 1 by t3 minus 2 uh, t3 minus t2 we put there this value now we get put uh, equation number 6 in 2 that is eta is equal to 1 minus 1 by rho raised to gamma minus 1 1 minus 1 by rho raised to gamma minus 1 that is equation so the question is it's a question long answer type question very important explain the working of a petrol engine very one expression for the efficiency for its efficiency the working we write over in the previous class and here the derivation is given the two classes combined to form this essay very important and there are uh, 
one or two problems uh, that you can see this, here there is a short answer question an important short answer question draw the diagram of petrol cycle and uh, mark the various strokes petrol cycle in the padam result stroke mark here ba stroke ile nammal adu padina ottam the parayirundu appa cycle mark cheyanam e e c section c d compression angale kindallo adella onnu mark cheythu kanikkuga ella stroke ile mark cheythu kanikkuga idu problem problem calculate the efficiency of a petrol engine if the adiabatic compression ratio is is 5 calculate the efficiency of a petrol engine if the adiabatic compression ratio is 5 valla simple question aanu aa formula orthirikka ennalladana pradhanamayittulla sangathi gamma is 1.4 you take gamma equal to 1.4 for doing this problem so we can write efficiency eta is equal to efficiency eta is equal to 1 minus 1 by rho raised to gamma minus 1 rho is given as 5 put uh, that value there that is gamma is uh, 1 minus 1 by 1.4 you know uh, gamma is 1.4 rho is 5 so eta is 1 minus 1 by 5 raised to 1.4 minus 1 and 1 by 5 you know it is 0.2 so it is 1 minus 0.2 raised to 0.4 1.4 minus 1 is 0.4 and that the power term you have to calculate using a calculator uh, when we calculate we get the value in this manner that is it is 1 minus 0.5 to 8 5 to 5 to 3 uh, that is equal to uh, 0.4747 and when we convert into percentage we get uh, eta is equal to 47.47% eta is 47.47% that's efficiency of petrol engine usually we take uh, a value nearly about 45% that is the efficiency of petrol engine petrol engine efficiency or 45% edakana namaku kaana kaiyunathu ivide adu ഇവിടെ അത് ഫോർട്ടി സെവൻ പോയിന്റ് ഫോർ സെവൻ പെർസെന്റ് എന്നാണ് കിട്ടുന്നത് ഇനി വ്യത്യസ്തമായ ഒരു പെൻഷൻ ക്വസ്റ്റിൻ ആണ് അതിൽ വാല്യൂ എല്ലാം ഡേറ്റ ചിലപ്പോൾ വ്യത്യാസമുണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ട് വാല്യൂ മാറും ഡെഫിഷ്യൻസി ഓഫ് ആൻ ഓട്ടോ എഞ്ചിന് ഇസ് സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ ഓർക്കണം സാധാരണ കേസിൽ ഓട്ടോ എഞ്ചിന് ഇത്രയും എഫിഷ്യൻസി വരത്തില്ല ഓട്ടോ എഞ്ചിൻ്റെ എഫിഷ്യൻസി നിയർലി ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻ്റ് ആണ് പക്ഷെ ഈ പ്രോബ്ലത്തിൽ തന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് എഫിഷ്യൻസി സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റ് എന്നാണ് അത് ഒരു പോസിബിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യമല്ല പക്ഷേ ഇത് പരീക്ഷയുടെ ക്വസ്റ്റിൻ ആണ് ഇങ്ങനെ ഇങ്ങനെ ചോദിക്കും ഡേറ്റ മാറ്റി ഒക്കെ ചോദിക്കും അത് ഗാമ വൺ പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവ് ഏർ ഗാമ വൺ പോയിന്റ് ഫോർ ആണ് പക്ഷേ ഈ ക്വസ്റ്റിൻ അത് വൺ പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവ് എന്നാണ് തന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് എ മാർക്ക് ഡിവിയേഷൻ ഫോർ എഫിഷ്യൻസി ആൻഡ് ആൾസോ ഫോർ ഗാമ കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ദ ഡിബാറ്റ് കമ്പ്രഷൻ റേഷ്യോ അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ നമുക്ക് റോ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാനാണ് മുമ്പത്തെ ക്വസ്റ്റിനകത്ത് റോ തന്നിട്ട് ഈറ്റ കാണാനാണെങ്കിൽ ഇവിടെ ഈറ്റ തന്നിട്ട് റോ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാനാണ് But I read the application of the values. Eta is equal to 1 minus 1 by rho raised to gamma minus 1. Uh, eta is 75% which is equal to 0.75. Gamma 1.5 rho question mark. 0.75 is equal to 1 minus 1 by rho raised to 1.5 minus 1. 0.75 is 1 minus 1 by rho raised to 0.5. Take a... Uh, number to one side number is to one side that is rho raised to 0.5 rho raised to 0.5 rho raised to 0.5 is 1 by rho raised to 0.5 is equal to 1 minus 0.75 which is 0.25 so 1 by rho take the root of 0.25 0.06 no not it is not a root ah uh, yeah, it is a root ah uh, root of 0.25 you take a root of 0.25 that is equal to 0.0625 one by 
1 by rho raised to 0.5 is this. 1 by rho raised to 0.5, 1 by 2 is this. So to find uh, 1 by rho, you have to square it. You have to square it. On squaring, 1 by rho is equal to 0 0.0625. That is uh, reciprocal. Take reciprocal. Rho is 16. 1 by 0 0.0625. 16. That is the answer. We want to square it. We want to square it. 1 by rho is the point for root on. If you square it, 1 by rho is the reciprocal. Rho is the reciprocal. 15. If you have a divided commercial ratio of 15, then you can see that there is no value. One is the value. If you have a first problem, then you can see that here. Rho is 15. That is the value of 75% value. Rho is 16. That value of 75% value is the value of 75% value. That's the value of 75% value. अब कितना वैल्यू रहती है अगर हम लोग के चेहरे जी दी पर रोई का वैल्यू 16 है ये प्रॉब्लम था डेट इस ऑल विथ योर 22nd क्लास ऑन कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फिजिक्स सेमेस्टर टू थैंक यू वेरी मच